हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ शेक हैंड विद लाइफ आई एम नरेंद्र शर्मा इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैड शोन यू हाउ काइ स्क्वेयर कैन बी यूज्ड एज ए पैरामीटर टेस्ट फॉर कंपेयरिंग द वेरिएंसेस ऑफ सैंपल एंड पॉपुलेशन chi square can also be used as a non parametric test as a non parametric test chi square can be used as a test of goodness of fit and as a test of independence so in this video i'll make you understand the first application of chi square as a non parametric test which is the test of goodness of fit but before to start learning make sure that you have subscribed shake hand with life youtube channel and hit the bell to get the notifications of my latest video lectures right let's start it now to understand the use of chi square as a goodness of fit let's take a problem a dice is thrown 132 times and here you can see the distribution of the frequencies of six numbers on the dice from 1 to 6 here one is appeared 16 times two is appeared 20 times three is appeared 25 times four is appeared 14 times five is appeared 29 times and six is appeared 28 times now on the basis of these observations can we conclude that the dice is fair that means the dice is not biased cheated or preloaded in any way such type of problems where we have only the observed frequency distribution and on the basis of this frequency distribution we have to make a decision like to conclude the dice is fair the chi square as a test of goodness of fit is very suitable and in this video i'll show you how we can solve this problem using chi square test as a goodness of fit now the very first step to solve this problem is to state the null and alternative hypothesis here we have to conclude the dice is fair so as a null hypothesis we consider the dice is fair and state the null hypothesis as h not such that dice is fair and as an alternative hypothesis we consider the dice is not fair it means the dice may be biased or cheated or preloaded with some numbers hence we can write the alternative hypothesis as h a such that dice is not fair now we calculate the expected or theoretical frequencies when a fair dice is rolled the chances of obtaining any one number out of six numbers on dice like 1 2 3 4 5 6 are equal and this equal to 1 by 6 now the dice is rolled for 132 times hence theoretically or expectedly the frequency distribution should be like this for 1 it is 132 into 1 by 6 equal to 22 for 2 it is also 132 multiplied by 1 by 6 equal to 22 for 3 it is also 22 and so on for rest of the numbers 22 for 4 22 for 5 and 22 for 6 it implies the theoretical frequency distribution for a dice for a fair dice when rolled for 132 times then one should turn up 22 times to also turn up for 22 times and similarly the numbers 3 4 5 and 6 all be turned up for 22 times this is our expected frequency distribution now what chi square test does chi square as a test of goodness of fit helps us to understand how well the theoretical frequency distribution fitted with the observed frequency distribution now to calculate chi square value we use the test statistic 
given by the equation chi square equal to sum of square of the differences of observed frequencies and expected frequencies divided by the expected frequencies now we have observed frequencies in second column and expected frequencies in third column now find the differences of observed and expected frequencies in fourth column by subtracting the expected frequencies from the observed frequencies such as 16 minus 22 equal to minus 6 for number 1 20 minus 22 equal to minus 2 for number 2 25 minus 22 equal to 3 for number 3 14 minus 22 equal to minus 8 for number 4 29 minus 22 equal to 7 for number 5 and 28 minus 22 equal to 6 for number 6 now find the square of the differences of the observed and expected frequencies in fifth column such as minus 6 square of minus 6 equal to 36 square of minus 2 equal to 4 square of 3 equal to 9 square of minus 8 equal to 64 square of 7 equal to 49 and square of 6 equal to 36 now in the sixth column divide the square of the differences of the observed and expected frequencies by the expected frequencies in third column such as 36 divided by 22 equal to 1.63 for number 1 4 divided by 22 equal to 0 0.18 for number 2 9 divided by 22 equal to 0 0.41 for number 3 64 divided by 22 equal to 2.91 for number 4 49 divided by 22 equal to 2.23 for number 5 and 36 divided by 22 equal to 1.63 for number 6 now add all the values in the 6th column and the sum of all values would give you the value of chi square as 9 now choose the significance level at 5% or alpha is equal to 0 0.05 it implies we are 95% confident to say that the dice is fair but we have 5% doubt that we could make an error to say that the dice is fair the second thing we consider the degrees of freedom here we have six numbers on the dice such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 that means n equal to 6 and that means we have freedom to choose only first five numbers in any ways when we roll the dice and for sixth one we have no choice as the degrees of freedom is n minus 1 equal to 5 now refer the chi-square distribution table and mark the value under 0 0.05 and in the row of 5 degrees of freedom we have 11.070 now compare the calculated value of chi-square with critical value of chi-square refer, referred from chi-square distribution table if the calculated value equal to or greater than the critical value of chi-square then reject the null hypothesis and if the calculated value is less than the critical value of chi-square then we can't reject the null hypothesis here the calculated value of chi-square is a 9 is less than the critical value of chi-square referred from chi-square distribution table which is 11.070 hence we can't reject the null hypothesis and therefore we can conclude that the dice is fair it is not cheated or preloaded or biased in any way and the variation in the observed frequency distribution is just by chance 
and the expected frequency distribution is good fit to the observed frequency distribution and that's it if you have any question or suggestions then please do write your feedback in the comment box below hit the like button and share this video with your friends and colleagues switch to shake hand with life youtube channel for more videos subscribe the channel and hit the bell to get the notifications of my latest video lectures visit on shakehandwithlife.in to download the course notes and ebooks in pdf see you soon in my next video